Hello YouTube and I'm back again drinking Irish. Emmett Ryan here trying to support our local Irish breweries during the current crisis we're all locked in. And uh, before I get to today's beer, which you can see the name of obviously above, it's not a surprise, but I just like the little aspect here for being behind me. Uh, seeing great responses from people online, supporting local breweries. I saw a couple of breweries around, I'll, uh, Kildare obviously one that jumped out to me and I've seen a few others saying how they're getting the beers out to people. A uh, big shout out to Wayne the Beer Snob for his support and like, you know, trying to get out there, letting people know who's sharing, who, who's selling online. I know Meskin as well are selling by the crate and they're great lads too, like the great folks, sorry Meskin's obviously not just lads. Uh, but uh, we're going to have a beer today uh, and uh, well, what is the beer we're going to have? It is Equinox by Metal Man and just going to make sure we get this a little bit in focus. Equinox by Metal Man. It is a fantastic beer. It's a wheat lager and when I first heard of this, you know, yawa. And when I first had this, I go, bliss, bliss was my reaction. So let's see what it's like today. We're just going to crack her open here. And as always, I have no idea if this is going to fizz or not because me and storage. Mm -hmm. So we saw yesterday that Emmett can't pour a beer. So at least it's a 330 can and a 500, sorry, a pint glass, 500, 568. I'm in the continent too much. So let's pour this one out and let's see if Emmett can avoid giving too much head. Oh uh, yeah, you'll all lol in the comments there. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, not too bad actually, not too bad. I didn't make a complete hangs of it. So, you can see, it is quite fizzy, uh, you know. It is a wheat lager, it's not a wheat ale or anything like that. And uh, yeah, let's just have a, let's have a quick sniff here. It smells very lagery actually. It's the one thing I'd forgotten that, like, you know, because even though it's like the taste, which we'll get to in a second, is different to your regular lager, the smell is actually very conventional lager, very fresh, uh, you know, but like what you expect a lager to smell like, which I know sounds very generic, but like if you have a, if you're used to a lager, you know what I mean. So let's have a sip. Yeah, I'm getting a lot here. So a bit like yesterday's beer, the, the one we had from Hope, uh, very refreshing on the initial taste, nice big bit around the mouth that was more of a, a first gulp than for a sip i must admit uh and uh, then we get that the wheatiness though does start to come through and sort of that little bit of bitterness in the finish what i like about it though is just how balanced it is i'll get to that in a second sip yeah because you see it's like the, that little bit of sort of dank uh at the back like you know it's not too much like this refreshingness and this dankness at the same time. Uh, what I like about this beer is, I think it's an evergreen beer. Now a lot of people think it's summer is your preference. And listen, don't get me wrong, this one goes great in the summer. But I think it's a really good year-round beer uh, because I think the flavor holds enough that even in the winter months, there's enough going on here. But what I like as well is it's got both, it's got enough lightness for the gentle drinker who doesn't want anything that's gonna hit him too hard. But there's enough going on for those of us like a few more complex flavors. I have told Grania uh, uh, Walsh in uh, Metal Man before that this is possibly my favourite session beer ever made. It is 4.6%, so some of you will argue it's not quite session. I think it's on the border, it's on the right side of the border, so it's session for me. Uh, you know, it's, it possibly is. Uh, it's it's different, it's hard to, it's hard, because like, the whole thing here is you're going for both a wheat beer and a lager at the same time, which are different things, but um, it's just they've got it because the body has managed to get both types of feels into it which is extraordinary like, to be able to have the texture where it gets that across and like even smelling it like sort of as the wheat comes a bit through more i am being reminded because like the, even though the initial scent is lager as i'm getting more taste and getting more of the aromas into me i'm being reminded of being somewhere like berlin or uh, munich uh, you know uh, or where i was hoping to be cold and may i'm not going to be in cold now uh, you know, it's like not so much Bamberg because Bamberg is a different smell. We'll be getting to Marzins, don't worry. Uh, although, no, but too many. Actually, the only Irish Marzin I can think of is only on tap at the moment, isn't it? So we may be getting to Marzins on this uh, while we're still in lockdown. But once we're finished lockdown, we'll do a few foreign beers just to show we like them too. Well, you know, that's a couple of months away by the looks of it, I'm guessing. Uh, but so, anyway. Yeah, no, this is a great one, and I'm thinking as well, because I've just had my dinner before recording this, because uh, I was just trying to, you know, pace my meals out today, and this is actually a really good one to go with what I had. I had a 
steak with uh, some broccoli, tender stem. And uh, it is a good post post uh, dinner drink, but I think this with a steak, oh baby, yeah. So yeah, this is a Equinox Wheat Lager by Metal Man. I'll get the can out again for y'all, just so we can all see it. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, listen, it's a refreshing wheat lager, they call it, and the refreshing is absolutely right. So, listen, great job in Metal Man. Uh, one we already knew, in fairness, they've done a great job on. We will go with a stout tomorrow uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so, I might even have a bit of Guayalga coming in, and that might be relevant with the brewery in question. Ooh. Uh, who knows, who knows, that might be giving a hint away, although I'm not really keeping secrets, but... Anyway, we'll be doing a stout tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day. Listen, so what I want you all to keep doing, though, is uh, obviously there's details on how to find Metal Man in the link below, uh, and, uh, you know, how to support them is... Whatever your brewery is, like I said, look at the can when you're going into the off-license or a supermarket or whatever. Look at the bottle as well. Just check where it's from, you know? Uh, and if it happens to have an Irish address, like I said, people are going to argue over what's craft, what's not. Right now, it's about supporting the brewers. And, uh, you know, if that's an Irish address, do it. Drink Irish. And like I said, you might surprise yourself with some of the fun beers you're going to find that you wouldn't have otherwise tried. Like, there's a few beers I haven't had uh, in, you know, months, which are in the pile for this so far and uh, you know i'm looking forward to rediscovering them because uh, you know when you have you, you might remember what, how, why you that you like a beer you may not you may remember the flavor but you may not but you don't have what well, some people can i can't remember the taste as vividly you know i'm just remembering what i thought about it at the time and uh, you know even if i took notes like john duffy who's gonna shout out two days in a row for goodness sake uh, i think i still think it's not the same as just getting a taste again in your mouth so yeah you know, obviously I'm deliberately drinking beers I like, but listen, that's good, because you get to learn more about beers you might like. And uh, like I said yesterday and today, keep drinking Irish, but also in the comments below, tell me what you want me to drink. And, you know, especially if it's Irish, and I'll drink it I'll drink it here on, on YouTube for you all. So, Slauncha, and I will see you on Law Illa Pork, and until then, cheers. <laughs>